Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, The Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is month number two, where we're doing a new video every single day for the whole of October, looking at operations and relations of sets. In this video, we're going to be looking at alternative ordered pair schemas. Now, we defined an ordered pair, angle brackets A, B, as the class of, the class of A, and the class of A and B in our last video. However, there are other schemas that work just as well, which you may encounter. These will behave similarly to our schema in most situations, but there will be some differences in others. Be aware of how exactly any proof you are looking at defines an ordered pair, just in case it becomes relevant. Like I said, they should behave the same way on a macro scale, but on a micro scale and line to line of an individual proof, they may act differently. So, one alternative is to create a class with two members, the set of the first value and the null set in the set of the second value. And the set of the null set. In other words, A, B is defined as the class of the class of A in the null set and the class of B and the set of the null set. This will behave differently than our schema in some ways as the union of A, B has only two members for our schema, but it has four members in this alternative schema. They generally have the same utility, but will function somewhat differently. But the, the same basic principle is still here. A is distinct from B because A is paired in a member of our ordered pair with the null set, whereas B is paired with the set of the null set. The first schema for ordered pairs was devised by Norbert Wiener. It is slightly different from either of the other two schemas. This takes the class containing the null set and the first value and the class of the class of the second value. In other words, AB is defined as the class of the class of A in the null set and the class of the class of B. Once again, this will have different results as the union of AB will now have three members instead of either two or four. And the initial members of the set are no longer both members because while A is a member, B is not. Rather, the class of B is a member because we had those two sets of curly brackets on B. So when we do our union, we only eliminate one of those sets of curly brackets. So all of these different schemas, there are many more that you could come up with of acceptable schemas for ordered pairs. We're going to work with the one that we outlined initially, but be careful as you're looking through things because they may define ordered pairs differently. Up next, what are ordered triples and quadruples and other n tuples? Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org. Subscribe, hit that notification bell if you like this content and you want to see more. And as always, stay skeptical, everybody.